Hello folks, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about the interesting topic of how to archive your logs that are in your CloudWatch log group. Let us say you have a lot of applications sending logs to your log, log groups or your log streams. It might be your containers, it might be your microservices, it might be your Lambda functions. All of them are dumping your logs into the CloudWatch log group and they get filled up quite frequently. And you might re set a retention on your log group, but how do you store the data or how do you export the data and store it somewhere else? And how do you do that in a very sequential manner or in a periodic manner so that all the logs that are getting generated can be exported somewhere and saved for future use or for some analysis? Typically, what I would recommend is go ahead and use the Lambda functions that Amazon provides. And what you can do with the Lambda function is you can set up a trigger saying, Every day, go and look at my log groups and then see what is the new logs that have come up in the last uh, 24 hours or X days and then export those data into my S3 bucket. So this way you can have S3 bucket policy also and then you can constantly push the logs from your log group to your S3 bucket and after 365 days or X amount of days, you can retire them or push them into a low cost storage whereas your log group only has the latest data that your developer or your service management team should look at. Let us go ahead and see how we can do this in our account. Here in this GitHub article, all the necessary steps have been documented. There are a few prerequisites that are required. Let us go ahead and see them. So one of the most important prerequisite is you should have an S3 bucket, obviously, to store all that information. So I have went ahead and created an S3 bucket. I have called my S3 bucket as CloudWatch log export 01. And the next important prerequisite is this bucket needs to have a particular policy that will allow the logs to write to it. I have attached the policy JSON here. You need to make a few changes here, like for example, your region, your bucket number, uh, bucket name, I mean, and then again here as well. So I have went ahead and did that as well in my bucket policy. You can see here, I have updated my bucket name and uh, I have also up updated my region also as US East one. So as of now, there are no buckets, I mean, no objects in my bucket. We will use this bucket as my destination for my Lambda function. So the next prerequisite is having an IAM role. Typically, most of my Lambda functions will run on the basic uh, Lambda execute uh, permissions. Along with that, we just need one more policy, which is a list bucket policy. We are going to check whether this bucket is going to exist or not. For that, the Lambda function requires some policies and that JSON is also attached here. So if I go to my IAM role, I have a generic Lambda execute and you have the default managed policy. Along with that, I have the uh, head and list bucket uh, permissions for that Lambda function. So let us go ahead and see what other prerequisites we have and whether we have it already. Next is obviously you need some uh, CloudWatch log group that you can export to. I'm going to use this log group. I have called it, called it as trending news. You can have any log group that you might have or you can just generate one and fill it some dummy data and then you can use that also. So I am using this because there are a lot of info, uh, logs there for the last 60 days, 90 days. We can vary around uh, which logs to pick up and then we can push them. That's why I'm using this one. And finally, let us go ahead and start creating our Lambda function itself. So we are done with the prerequisites. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's call this as log export. It's going to be Python 3.7. And here I'm going to use the role that we just now created. So we got our role selected and then click on create function. And the most important thing is going ahead and updating your code. Before updating my code, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase my timeout because we are going to export a log and it might take more than one minute depending upon your uh, environment. You might want to do more time or less time depending upon the amount of data that is there going to be there in your logs. It's a quite a bit of a complex code. I have put it in my private repository and just pasting it here. And if you need a copy of the code, go ahead and put them in the comment section with Galaxy and we should be able to engage with you and provide this code. So the most important things that you need to modify in this code are in the global variable section. For example, the how many days of retention you want. For example, today is Feb 10th and I want to archive all the logs 30 days back. Then I just go ahead and say 30 days here and which logs I want to export. As, as I said, I have already updated to the log group name that I have. If you have multiple log groups, you all you have to do is just go ahead and add uh, and the comma and then the other log group that you want to add here. And finally, how much time you want to wait for your task to complete, whether you want to cancel it after 300 seconds or X amount of time, just go ahead and put that. So let's go ahead and save this. And typically what you want to do is you want to go ahead and configure uh, and trigger for this. 
and usually the trigger can be done uh, with a CloudWatch events. I would recommend you to go ahead and do that. For, for this use case, I'm just going to do a test event. I'm just, I, I don't need any of these values. I'm just going to submit it here. So let's just go ahead and test this Lambda function and see whether it is exporting some logs. So it should be exporting minus 30 days. That is today is Feb 10th and it should be picking up data which is on Jan uh, 10th. So this is the export status. It says true, it has exported the logs and it has picked up to 2019 January 10th. So let us go to our bucket and see if there is some log files here. So here it is my log group name under my log group name on the year and then the month and then the date. And under this you have the task ID and then you can see some log files that are coming from January 10th. It takes 24 hour time period. So everything that started from because I'm not running at midnight, I'm running it at an offset of uh, some time. So you, it is running it from 10th and picking up some log files from 11th as well. So if you run it every day at midnight, you will be exactly getting only those log files on the 10th of uh, January or the particular date. So that is how you export log files from your CloudWatch log group to your S3 bucket. And you can also do encryption also. You can do it bucket side or before putting it the log files from uh, your log group you can encrypt them and send them here also however way you want to do it go ahead and try this if you have any problems let us know we can help you with that thanks for watching happy learning